Last weekend, the stars of the LPGA teed it up in Rochester, New York for the fourth major of the 2014 season, the Wegmans LPGA Championship. In the field, Mo Martin, the winner of the previous major, the Women's British Open. Coming into Royal Birkdale, the Californian had never won on the LPGA Tour, so to say her life has changed is an understatement. Golfing World caught up with golf's newest major champion to find out more. I'm adjusting to post-major life and like things like this week. I just did a press conference and I haven't had to clear my schedule before for press conferences. So a couple weeks after the British, there were just a ton of interviews, like multiple interviews a day. Throughout the first pitch at the Dodgers game, um, got a few honorary memberships. They're just things I've been adding to my bucket list and then been able to cross off at the same time. Winning one of golf's marquee events certainly does a lot for a player's profile. And for anyone at Los Angeles Airport who didn't know exactly who Mo Martin was or exactly what she'd done, an enthusiastic group of friends and family solved that problem as the 31-year-old arrived home with a British Open trophy. There's an escalator that goes down to the baggage claim area and so came down and I'm tired and um, they all just start screaming and go Mo and there's a sign that says British Open champ and I was super embarrassed and I was just like shh. And then everybody starts kind of moving away from me and staring at me so <laughs> it was really nice. Standing just five foot two, Martin is one of the shorter hitters on the LPGA Tour, but she's very accurate, ranking number one in fairways hit at an impressive 85% strike rate. So the chance to take on the hard-baked fairways and changeable conditions of Lynx golf was something she definitely looked forward to. I think it brings out um, a little bit more creativity um, because there, there are a lot of ways to play Lynx golf. I mean, you have more options, which I think sometimes is the more difficult route. You know, Saturday, it was the first time ever in my career I've had a camera on me every single shot. And so that was a little bit of a learning curve, you know, because every other shot, every other tournament, you're trying to clear your space and then suddenly there's somebody in your space, like right behind you. Um, so that was just, that was a learning curve. A third round 77 left Mo three off the pace, but as strong winds howled in off the Irish Sea, Mo climbed up the leaderboard. Standing just under 240 yards from the green on the par 5 18th, she was two back and needing something special. Hit a pretty good three wood. <laughs> I played a draw, uh, hold it up against the wind. I had to aim very far left. I mean, I was aimed well left of the green. Execution-wise, I couldn't have hit it better. I think at first I, I said, go, you know, and then I see it rolling up on the green. I was like, sit! And then I just, I was like, that's perfect. I've got nothing more to say to that golf ball. And then that's when I heard it and saw it hit the pin. Mo had a lot to think about with a six-foot eagle putt for a share of the lead, but she still took the time to take in the walk towards Birkdale's clubhouse and enjoy the unique atmosphere surrounding the last hole of a major. They're really good golf fans there. I mean, good, proper, solid golf fans. And so that was fun to come and have all the gallery and have the applause and just soak up the moment because not very many people get to walk that walk. After holding the putt for her first eagle of the season, Mo's final round 72 in the toughest of conditions meant the clubhouse target was set at one under. It wasn't going to be easy though, as Martin faced an hour-long wait as major champions like Imbi Park, Shen Shen Feng and Suzanne Pettersen tried to chase her down. I actually didn't look at the scoreboard, didn't watch any TV. Um, I didn't know what was going on behind me and I just knew at that point it was my job to be prepared physically and mentally for a playoff, because that's all I could control at that point. So that's literally what I did. And so when I was told I won, it was kind of like, what? I mean, I, <laughs> I said, is this real life? Like, true? Facts? Done? That memorable three woods and resulting major victory has won Mo a whole legion of new admirers around the golfing world, including some youngsters she met at a recent LPGA event who'd been discouraged from participating in the sports. Their mom came up to me and said, you know, it's so good to meet you because our girls are smaller and they're petite and they've been told by people you can't play sports. And, you know, I mean, that broke my heart. And so I said, no, 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 no. I said, next time somebody says that to you, you message me. And I said, and you tell them that's hogwash.
golf is such a special sport because you can play it in so many different ways. And, you know, like Lexi and Ms. Michelle, they can overpower some holes. And they take different lines that I don't even look at. Um, but I play to my strengths, which is my accuracy and my short game. And, I mean, at the end of the day, you can play this game in so many different ways. Mo spent six years on the Symmetra Tour before even making it to the big time and admits at one stage she considered giving up her dream of playing on the LPGA Tour. Luckily she didn't because she will forever be remembered as a major championship winner and the long road Mo travelled makes the end result even more special. A lot of people dream about this happening and it doesn't happen for everybody. And is that fate? I mean, is that luck? I mean, is that just hard work? I don't know what that is, but I mean, it's amazing that it has come true for me.